Okay, hello everyone and welcome to a Dragon Ball Fighters discussion video. Actually, I've not made Dragon Ball Fighters content on my channel yet, but you know, it's never too late to start. Today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming balance patch that is going to be hitting the game soon, and some of the things that I want or I'm hoping for, and some of the things that I'm kind of concerned about, because I do have a few concerns just regarding what's going to be happening, and we'll talk about that as well. Now, of course, this game I think is in pretty bad need of a balance patch. It's really interesting what's been happening uh, in the short time that this game has been out. I've heard that this is the same thing that happened to another team-based fighting game, well, actually two, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Tekken Tag 1. Uh, from what I've heard, both of those games started out and people were using many different team combinations, many different characters, many different assists and variations, and slowly but surely, as the months went on and the years went on, things got more and more narrowed down until only a handful of teams and characters were eventually viable. Now, of course, both of those games were before the age of patching and kind of balancing, and now Dragon Ball has the perfect opportunity to kind of find a fix for that, because it's the exact same thing that happened to this game. Pretty much, you gotta have either Adult Gohan, Cell, or Vegeta in your party, if you wanna like have any sort of chance at a high level, as of course I'm talking about mainly like tournament play and all that, and unfortunately it has made the game incredibly boring, like I've not even tuned in to top 8 probably for the last couple of events, because it's literally just Cell, Vegeta and some other character, that is 90% of teams, like there is no reason to not use those characters because they just dominate so badly. So yeah, a balance patch is for sure needed, and luckily they are going to be hitting those characters, as well as buffing some characters. Uh, the full list, according to Twitter, because the announcement for the patch came out on Twitter, uh, the characters are, that are going to be touched include Vegeta, who definitely needs his assist toned down, Frieza, who needs some help because he's not that good, Krillin, again, needs a little bit of help, Piccolo... I'm not too sure about because, I don't know, sometimes he seems okay, sometimes he seems pretty weak, so I don't know what they're going to be doing to him. Android 16, very strong. Android 18 uh, kind of started out looking really strong, everyone was using her, and slowly people kind of abandoned her when people found out how to exploit her weaknesses. Blue Vegeta needs help because he's really weak. Nappa, really weak. Captain Ginyu, pretty weak. Adult Gohan needs to be toned down because his pressure is just too much. Kid Buu is very strong, I think. Maybe he needs to be toned down a little bit. Beerus is very low tier. And Android 21, she's pretty mid-tier from what I've seen, but she does have an infinite, which is probably going to be cut from the game because I don't think they want infinites in the game. And Broly, who is of course DLC, but he turned out to be pretty weak, which, you know, you always gotta be careful with the DLC characters because you gotta sell them as well. So I think it's safe to say that Broly is gonna be getting some buffs. Now, my concerns. I've heard through the grapevine, and by grapevine I mean Reddit, that a lot of the times Arc Systems is not the best at balancing their games. In particular, people have talked about Guilty Gear and how a lot of the times Arc Systems tends to buff characters that are really strong and not in need of buffs at all and kind of ignore characters that are super low tier and really need to be changed quite a bit. In particular regarding this patch uh, there are some pretty strange omissions. For example Teen Gohan. I don't think anyone considers Teen Gohan to be good or even viable so he's not on the list but again it doesn't mean that this is the full list of characters that need changes or are gonna get changed. Maybe it's just the characters that will be receiving the most buffs or nerfs. However, the other concerning thing is that they also said that they are going to be adjusting the systems of the game as well. Now that's really interesting to me because I think personally, and many players probably feel the same way, I think the systems of this game are pretty damn perfect. I mean, okay, not perfect, sure, no fighting game is perfect, but I cannot think of any system that would need drastic changes. I mean, 
Like, what could they even do? I'm just trying to figure out. Are they gonna, like, make super dashes unsafe or... Like, I, I don't know what the hell they're gonna do. I mean, they're already unsafe, but you know what I mean. Like, easier to punish or... Are they gonna make vanishing different or... Like, I cannot think of any system in the game, aside from one, and that one is guard cancelling, which is universally thought of as being useless. Other than guard cancelling, I cannot think of any system that needs to be changed in this game because, I don't know man, I feel like changing the systems really drastically would change the core of the game too much. I mean, of course, this game, super offensive, pretty much the person who gets the first hit is going to be always in the driver's seat, always having the advantage, but that is to be expected in these kind of team-based 3v3 fighting games. I don't know what they are going to do to the systems, Hopefully it's not going to be something too drastic. Hopefully the core ideas of the game are going to be still intact. I don't think they're going to touch it too much because I cannot think of them sabotaging themselves that much. But it's just a little concern that has been brought up. As well as the fact that, you know, according to this list, they seem to be ignoring some of the characters that I think are in need of some balance changes. So of course we won't know until uh, we get a full list of patch notes. And if we do get that before the release of the actual patch, I will be going over that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. What do you think about the patch? Do you think they will do enough to change these characters and kind of rebalance the game? Who's going to be really strong after? I don't really know. I feel like some of these characters are in a dangerous position in that changing them too much would really knock them down the tier list or really buff them too much. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thanks for watching and goodbye.